Hey there drone fans, Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I'd like to show you a clever little gadget that I think you're going to find pretty interesting. It's a power adapter that allows you to recharge all of your portable devices, your phone, your tablet, and your remote controller from the drone batteries that you already have with you for an afternoon of flying. Now, if you're like me, you're always looking for new locations to fly, and I love nothing more than parking my car and walking a half a mile or a mile through tall grass to the edge of a lake that I've never seen before, putting my quad up and capturing some amazing footage. And I love flying, so I'm always carrying extra batteries with me and really making a day of it. The challenge is, late in the day, my phone or my tablet's getting a little bit low on power and I need to recharge it. So to do that, I'll carry a power bank like this one along with me, connect it up, and I'll charge that device. And it works great. I'm not complaining about that. But the challenge is, it's one more thing I have to bring along. I have to remember to charge it. It's extra weight that I'm carrying in my backpack. I'm not a big fan of any of those things. So I was thinking about a way of charging my phone or my portable devices from the batteries that I happen to have with me. And it turns out there's an easy way to do that. So if you bought the Mavic Pro Fly More combination, you got a little adapter that looked like this. And it snaps on the end of the battery. And essentially what it does is convert the 12 volts of the Mavic Pro battery to the five volts you need to charge your portable devices. Now in this case, you get two full-size USB-A connections that can both deliver two amps of current, which is plenty of charging current for most of your thirsty devices. If you bought the Mavic Air Flymore combination, you got a similar adapter, which snaps on the end of the battery like this, and it provides a single connection, which is a standard USB-A connection again, with two amps of charging current. And both of those work great to charge your portable devices. Now, the way I typically use these is I don't put them on fresh batteries because I want to fly the quad. So I'll fly through my first battery, get it down to about 20% left, land the quad, pop the battery out, pop a fresh battery in, let it cool down. And while the quad's cooling down, I connect up this adapter and then I can charge any device I need to. And I've got two batteries here. So the Mavic battery is almost fully charged. I didn't fly the Mavic today, but the Mavic Air battery is almost depleted. Now, I flew this a lot today. That's why it's pretty low. So I've got about 25% left in the battery. And all you need to do to use this is to use the standard cable that you would use to charge your devices. Now, I've got a, a specialty cable that we sell on the website here. And I like this cable a lot because it's got um, a lightning connection on the end and a micro USB on it. So it's kind of a dual cable that allows me to charge all my devices by carrying one cable. And I connect that up to the power bank. And a lot of people forget to do this, but you got to turn the battery on because right now there's no voltage on the end of this thing. So to turn the battery on, you tap it once and hold it just like it were inside the drone. Once the battery's on, you can connect it up to your device and it'll immediately start charging it. So it works pretty straightforward. Same thing with the Mavic. So let me turn the Mavic battery on. Okay, that guy's on now. I connect up my USB device here. Once I do, boom, it starts charging. And I'm careful not to deplete these completely, so I probably wouldn't have used that battery because it's down to 20% already. But most of the time when I'm flying, I get it down to about 25% and then I call it a day because I don't want to deplete the battery completely. But if I've got a couple of the batteries that are partially depleted, I can switch between them. So I've always got a charging source. And again, what I like so much about this is that I don't have to carry extra stuff with me. I'm, I'm always a fan of trying to find a simpler way to do something. I'm a cheapskate and I'm lazy. So I don't like spending extra money on things I'm dragging along. I also don't like carrying extra weight with me. So if I could eliminate a power bank like this by using a Mavic Pro or Mavic Air battery when I'm in the field, that works really well. So if you did buy those Flymore combinations, you got these adapters already. If you didn't, I have them available on my website. Now, these are aftermarket products. They're not DJI branded. You can certainly buy them from DJI. They've got a, a website as well that you can go and buy the official ones from them. But these are third parties that we sell on our website. I've used both of these for several months. I can endorse them completely. They work just the same as the DJI products. But if you didn't buy the Flymore combination, you might not even know that a technology like this exists. And for me, again, anything I can do to make flying simpler and carrying less stuff with me is a good thing. So I like these adapters an awful lot. That's pretty much it for today. If you have any questions about this technology or anything I've covered in the clips on the channel, please drop it in the comments below. I promise to get back to you as quickly as I can. I love putting these kind of clips together. I love investigating new technology like this and coming up with solutions to make your day a little bit more fun when you're out flying. So any comments below that you want to drop would be great. We look forward to that. I've got a lot more content coming. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. Make sure you join the the Drone Valley family because you'll get notifications when we post new clips like this. So thanks again for watching and until next time, happy flying.